Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, another day, another platform which is aiming to be a local alternative to the OpenAI API platform, especially when it comes to multimodality support. This tool, which is called as Cortex, is in active development. This Cortex is a backend for another tool called as Jan. Jan is a local um, platform which is again aims to be an alternative of ChatGPT and I already have covered Jan on my channel, please search it out. But for this video we are going to see what Cortex is and how to install it locally and then we will play around with it. This Cortex is as I said a local AI API platform that is used to run and customized LLM. When you will run it, you will see lot of similarities with Olama which is another magnificent tool for running large language models locally especially if you are starting out. There are a few salient features of this Cortex for example it has got a very straightforward CLI similar to what Olama has. Olama is written in Go as I understand but this tool Cortex has been written in C++ so it has got a full C++ implementation and it is packageable into desktop and mobile apps. You can pull the model from Hugging Face or even you can use Cortex built-in model library just like Olama. Models are stored in universal file formats which is called as blobs or binary large objects and you know that Olama stores them in its own format. This is a good thing for Cortex because when you have a blob model you can use it anywhere you don't have to download it for various purposes separately because blob files are a very universally uh, standardized format also you can swap the inference backends between llama.cpp o and nx runtime tensor rt which is quite good and these are i guess on the future roadmap because it's a very very early project but sounds quite promising you can even deploy it as a standalone API server or you can integrate it into apps like Jan. So we are going to install it locally and then we are going to see how it works. Before I do that, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its Python SDK and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content. AgentQL works on any page. It is resilient, it is reusable, and it structures the output according to the shape of your query. It is quite a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors. Okay, so let's now try to this Cortex install, and then we will go from there. The good thing is that it is already available for Linux for Windows and for Mac OS. All you need to do is to just download the exes and then run it from your local system. So I have Linux, so I'm just going to go for Linux. So I'm just clicking on Linux here. You see on the top right, it has started downloading the Debian installer for me. Similarly, for Windows, you will get Windows installer, the exe file, setup file, which you just need to do next, next, next. So let's wait for it to get installed. It, this is just under 2 gig of size. So that Debian file is installed. Let's go to my terminal and let me take you to my downloads directory. As you can see that I'm running this Ubuntu 22.04. From here, if I show you where the file is and it is at the very end. So let's do this sudo tp kg i and then cortex it is going to install it on my local system and as you can see it is unpacking this cortex.cpp let's wait for it and took bit of a time around three to four minutes but as you can see everything is installed now now in order to check if everything is working all you need to do is to write cortex and that is going to show you all the options which are available with Cortex. You could even just simply do here Cortex Tosh dash V. And it is going to show you the version which is a very, very 
uh, early version as you can see here okay so now let me show you how you can use it as i said earlier you can not only use any model from hugging face just like we do with olama or you could go to the models library on cortex own website as you can see just you have to click on models on the top left and from there you see just like olama you all you need to do is to run these models here and there are heaps of them so now we have third option here we had olama we had nexa and now we have this cortex which is quite interesting okay so let's try to now download a model so let me show you how you can do that for example if you just want to go with llama 3.2 so i'll just show take you to my terminal from here you can run this and it is going to ask you that which one you want to do because you see i haven't specified any tag with it or quant with it if you uh, just want to go with default go with default as i just pressed enter or you could just press a number from here 1 to 10 so you can see it is downloading it and how much it is going to use of course depends upon your system's gpu card for example my gpu card is nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gpu of vram on this machine and that has been sponsored by mast compute if you're also looking to rent a gpu on good prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus also if you're wondering how much vram do you need a very rough um, estimate is that for quantized model you would need around 8 gb of vram to run 3 billion model 16 gb of vram to run 7 billion parameter size model and 32 gb vram for running up to 13 billion parameter size of models it's a rough guide it's not a hard science by the way okay let's go back to the terminal okay so you see that by running it it has downloaded the model and in order to start the cortex api server all you need to do is to run this command cortex start and you see that now the cortex api server has started and serving your models on your local host at port 39281 and you can do any restful api call to that endpoint and it is open is compatible endpoint so you can go with chat or completions also if you want to know which models are there just do cortex ps just the linux command and you see that this is a model which we have downloaded similar to this you can pull them uh, olama you can pull the models and then you can run them interactively for example you can pull it something like this where it is asking us what to pull here and you can simply select any of the quantization which you can we already have it so i'm not going to do it again now what i'm going to do here is that instead of pulling i'm just going to run it because we already have downloaded it so it is not going to download it again and you can just start talking with it and it is going to talk with you in the interactive way just like we do in the olama and you can keep chatting with your model if you like but i'm just going to exit from here so you see the similarity with olama are really very very striking and i believe that this is also going to support very soon the multimodality and we will also cover it when it happens and then you can stop your model from serving from here and you can even stop the whole cortex by just running this stop command i believe which stops the api server which is serving the model on that endpoint there you go the server is stopped so pretty good tool i would say another option to run these models locally in a very fine way just like we do with olama or with nexa i will drop the link to it in video's description play around with it let me know what do you think about it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching